I am a teacher. Technology fascinates me. As a game, it's excellent. But if you want to use technology for productive works in classrooms, there are two elements to be considered. One, the technology being used. Two, the person who is using that technology. In certain cases, it's very simple, like making a PowerPoint presentation. You present a button and the information comes. It's not always so simple. It's not as if I say, write something here and it comes or here or anywhere. For some people, it's magical. There is a learning curve involved in using technology productively. And learning requires time. For many male teachers, meeting their household expenses is of prime concern. And for that, many require to conduct coaching classes in evening. Likewise, many lady teachers have the responsibility of running their homes. It is not that we are against technology. But whenever a new technology comes, we end up learning a new product altogether. And what do we learn? That which the product manager designs. It is rarely what we need. It rarely fulfills our immediate requirements. So, we end up learning what product designers want us to learn, not what we need to learn, but what the product designers want us to learn. For a math teacher, incorporating math equations is a challenge. Even the equations already typed in MS Word cannot always be copy-pasted into the new learning environment. Similarly, a science teacher finds it tough to draw diagrams. What an effort it is to draw even those simple diagrams. What if I try using tech in my classroom and end up making a fool of myself? Whenever a new technology comes, there is a level of customization which is required. The product is made for a general purpose for everyone to use, but keeping the local needs in mind, it has to be customized for our own school. Now that requires a lot of effort, feedbacks, corrections, testing. The teacher spends a lot of time and a lot of efforts in giving those customization feedbacks to the company which is developing the product. There is a concern that technology benefits only a limited audience, especially during school hours. Most of the schools do not allow mobiles, tablets or even laptops to be carried into classrooms. In many cases, even the teachers are not allowed to use mobiles except in the staff room. A school 
might have few hundred computers available for general use by staff and students. That makes it a ratio of 1 is to 30. Far, far cry from 1 is to 1 scenario which is desired. We started the school when there was no technology and we have been running the school without technology. Why should we pay a technology company to get the work done that we are already doing and we are doing well? If you enforce the use of tech in classroom by a teacher, it might become an add-on task just the way CC became. The general feeling is अब ये भी करना पड़ेगा। What I receive, what I give, is in one register. Till the time this register is with me, I am sure about the security of this data. Once you put this data on the net. How can I ever be assured that others do not have access to my data? And what if you pass it on to my enemies? The company which develops the product gets paid for their work. The school gets the product. What does a teacher get? Where is the money for the teacher?